golf course. Miro is the tiniest of the inhabited islands in the Grenadines. Only one and a half square miles. The only way to get here is by boat. Miro has only one road and one village that doesn't even have a name. Despite its size, beautiful white sand beaches abound for lounging, swimming, and snorkeling. And then there's Salt Whistle Bay, considered by yachtsmen to be one of the most stunning bays in the Southern Caribbean. The neighboring Tobago Keys are five deserted islets surrounded by some of the most wondrous coral reefs in the world, most notably the famed Horseshoe Reef, a protected marine national park. The clear blue waters around these reefs present divers and snorkelers with a breathtaking, colorful array of sea life. The islets themselves, accessible only by boat, are marked with coconut trees and a variety of beaches. Union Island is mountainous and home to 1,000-foot Mount Tabois, the highest point in the Grenadines. Clifton, the main town, is a center of activity with hotels, shops, and banks. Nearby Fort Hill, built by the French in the 1600s, offers a spectacular view of the Grenadines and the surrounding countryside. Union Island boasts a number of hiking trails, as well as beaches, bays, and salt ponds. Like some of the other islands in the Grenadines, Union Island is a favorite of yachtsmen, offering some of the finest sailing in the Western Hemisphere. Just an eight-minute boat ride from Union Island is Palm Island, named for the hundreds of palm trees here. It's a private island resort that offers romantic beachfront cottages and spectacular white sand beaches. A 30-minute boat ride from Union Island, Petit St. Vincent, the southernmost of the Grenadine Islands, is another secluded island resort. St. Vincent and the Grenadines offer the perfect setting for the quintessential romantic wedding and seductive honeymoon hideaways. Throughout St. Vincent and the Grenadines, visitors find a wide range of accommodations, from affordable to ultra-exclusive. Many accommodations, whether luxury or modest, offer seclusion and almost all provide superb views of spectacular tropical scenery. The most exclusive retreats are in the Grenadines, where vacationers seek to get away from it all. Many celebrities and movie stars have vacationed in the Grenadines. Restaurants throughout St. Vincent and the Grenadines offer Caribbean cuisine at its best. Visitors indulge in regional fare such as Callaloo soup, made from dasheen leaves, a vegetable similar to spinach, curried goat, delectable dishes made with breadfruit, one of the tropical fruits brought here centuries ago by Captain Bly, scrumptious desserts made with the creamy and unusual soursop fruit, and perfectly prepared fresh seafood. A trip to Young Island off St. Vincent promises the most romantic of romantic dinners. Night spots throughout these islands offer plenty of opportunities for music, dancing, and tropical libations. The unmistakable sound of soca is the dominant music here. Festivals feature music ranging from the blues to gospel. Vinci Moss in July brings the revelry, flamboyance, and magic of carnival. Without question, the most colorful celebration of the year, and all to the intoxicating beat of calypso and soca. Carnival culminates with the wild and colorful Mardi Gras parade, where thousands of partygoers fill the streets. Like emerald jewels scattered across the blue Caribbean, the islands of St. Vincent and the Grenadines remain relatively undisturbed by modern development. It's this indescribable beauty that lures visitors back time and again. Come discover the lush landscapes, the captivating culture, and the friendly faces of this island nation. Paradise awaits you in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. I am the rhythm. I am the rhythm.